Um, at this time, I would check the femoral pulse, but we're not going to be doing that for the sake of the video. Moving down, I'm going to check your pulse. Plus one. Plus two. Plus three. Down to your posterior tibia, tibial, and then your dorsalis pedis. Okay. And um, as we're down here, I'm going to go ahead and check your strength. So if you could just press up for me, and then press down, five out of five, and then pull back, and then go forward, five out of five. And I'm going to go ahead and check your strength of your upper. The stability of the ankle can be assessed by performing the anterior draw test. Perform Mulder's click test. Grasping either side of the forefoot, squeeze the foot to compress its width. In a positive test, a palpable click is present, often associated with a shooting disco. Perform Simmons test. With the patient kneeling on a chair and their legs and ankles relaxed, squeeze the calf. With an intact sender Achilles, the passive contraction of the gastrocnemius will produce ankle plantar flexion. In tender Achilles rupture, this movement is not seen. The foot and ankle examination is now complete. Thank the patient, help them with their clothing and footwear if required, and then explain the relevant examination findings. So what do they do? What should a medical assistant do? And we have our, um, our patient, Miriam, who's going to help me. So Miriam, Let's go ahead and, first of all, what the medical assistant should do is to take the patient's shoes off, help them, or in your case, you can take your own shoes off. So you're going to take your shoes off and your socks off. Now, this may seem kind of ironic, but many doctors, when treating a patient, a diabetic patient, won't even have them take their shoes and socks off. So the medical assistant's job is to make sure their shoes and socks are off. Medical assistants should also take about a 10 second look at their shoes to make sure that they're not worn out, there's no holes in them, there's no blood on the inside from an infection or an ulcer that the person doesn't know. But basically it's also checking to see the kind of shoes that they're wearing. So now we'll observe the foot and ankle not in weight bearing in a system systematic way, so starting on the lateral side, really going up uh, more um, proximal on the leg down, looking for any swelling, erythema, any open wounds, down into the lateral malleoli, and appreciating that there's the normal depressions around the, the malleoli, so no true ankle swelling there. And then again, looking down from the calcaneus, and then up, no swelling in the, in the um, Achilles tendon area, which we also appreciated when she was standing. And then looking down the lateral edge, no swelling or erythema from the base of the, the fifth uh, metatarsal and then down into the toes. While I'm looking at the toes, also assessing if there's any toe deformities, which I don't appreciate, any hammer toes, mallet toes, or claw deformities. There's no hallux valgus, there are no calluses, and there's no bunions. And we can actually start higher up again from the lower leg, going down to the medial malleoli, and then seeing the normal depressions, and no swelling there. While we're in this spot, we can also observe, and we observed when she was uh, weight-bearing, but no swelling around the Achilles tendon, around the calcaneus. And then also observe the normal arches of the foot. Um, so I'm going to go back to the lateral, again, system, systematically starting from the lateral side. So just palpating down the leg for any tenderness along the fibula into the lateral malleoli to assess if there's any point tenderness. And to have a closer look. Okay. So now I'm just going to have a closer look of Cece's uh, ankles and feet. Um, so I really want to compare and contrast both sides, but for the purpose of the day, I'm just going to look at the right side. So the first thing we look at are the malleoli. So are they visible? Is there any swelling? Is there any erythema? Is there any, any obvious deformity, which there isn't? Um, then I like to look at the arches to see if there's any fallen arches or high arches, which there isn't. And then we move on to the toes to see if there's any toe deformity, such as a mallet or hammer toe, or if there's any hallux valgus or bunion formation, which there isn't here. Um, and then we'd also want to have a look in between the toes to see if there are any uh, fungal infections which can give foot pain. Uh, and also to look for rare things like um, melanomas in between the toes, which do happen. 
So next thing I'd like to see you to do is turn around for me. That's perfect. Um, and what we're doing here, first of all, is doing the too many toes test. So from behind, I shouldn't see more than two toes laterally, and it's not the case here. So that's good. And also having a look at the Achilles tendon. Now to assess this more, I'd like Cece to um, go up onto her toes for me. Very good. And just assessing that she can do the same on both sides and there's no uh, abnormality when she does that. That's perfect. And if you turn around for me again, Cece. Mm -hmm. So I'd like you to just do a squat for me and as comfortable as possible. Very good. And I was just assessing, that's fine, that's fine. Um, so I was just assessing to see if there's any abnormality of the lower leg when um, she goes into doing something like a squat, and which was okay. And the next thing I want you to try and do is if you can um, stand on one leg, whatever one you like, and just bring your foot back for me. Good. And again, just looking to see uh, if she's able to do that, or if there's any instability of the, um, of the ankle, which is fine. Good. Okay, so we've got CC up onto the examination table now. So uh, I'm going to have again have another look at the, uh, the feet just to see if there are any obvious calluses or blisters um, or any abnormalities in between the toes, which there isn't. So now we go on to uh, palpation. So I have a, a systematic approach that I use. I'm going to test <clears throat> for. Um lifting the leg up as far as you can, one by one. All right, and can you move one out towards our side? And pull it in towards your chest. All right, and can you run your heel down your shins? All right, any problems with that? Ooh. All right, I'm just going to feel for a zoom now. All right, no pitting, which is great. I'm going to feel for your pulses. To your posterior to your pulse. All right, it's nice and strong. And we'll go into the fetus then. All right, it's also nice and strong. I'm going to move on to your other foot. All right, nice and strong. Right. And now I'm going to feel or test for some sensation. So we'll start with your face and move down to your feet. I'm going to have a cotton ball and you tell me if you can feel it. And have you close your eyes for me? I'm going to do the same thing but with a sharp and a dull side. So I can look for the pain. This is sharp and this is dull. Close your eyes and let me know if you feel sharp or the dull pain. Sharp. 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 And now I'm going to test for cerebral function. So can you touch each of your fingers to your thumb? All right, and now touch your nose and touch your finger. Great. Now I'm just going to go ahead and feel your temperature of your legs, which are dry and moist, checking for lesions, bumps, anything that's abnormal. I'm going to go ahead and check your fetal pulses if that's okay. Oh, yep. Two plus equally bilateral. Go ahead and check the posterior tibial pulses, equally bilateral, and go ahead and just feel for her um, dorsal pedis pulses, which I'd say is a one plus, a little diminished, but they're equal bilateral. Then I'm going to go ahead and have you just put your legs straight out for me, please. I'm going to test the Babinski's test, and I'm just running my pen light up your feet. No fanning of the toes, which is a good sign. Great. Now I'm going to have you sit back up. And as a patient sitting, I'm checking for jugular vein distension. I didn't see any, which is good. I'm going to go ahead now and ask you to push against my hands. Great. Low extremity strength. I would rate it a five. Can you go ahead and squeeze my fingers? Great. Okay. Now. So I'm going to feel real quick of your pop tool. Now, 
Can you raise your legs at a 90 degree angle? Now bend them to your chest. Now rotate them from side to side. Great, you can straighten them back out. Now with our feet and ankles, we're going to flex up. Here, straighten your legs, flex up. Now flex downward. Now invert. Next bird. Good. Okay. Just checking for any edema. Now I need you to rub your right heel on your left shin and then your left heel on your right shin. Great job. Now I'm going to check your Babinski. And your Achilles. Ms. Barnett, I'm going to need you to get up with me. Ensure you wash your hands before leaving the examination room.